So now we have some missing number addition and subtraction problems. And though these involve fractions, we use the same methods as we use when we solve missing number problems for whole numbers. So first, 3 fifths plus what equals 3 quarters? Well here, because we have a missing number addition, we need to use subtraction to find our missing number. So we need to work out 3 quarters minus 3 fifths. Remember, 3 quarters is larger than 3 fifths because with fractions, the smaller the denominator, the larger the fraction. But to subtract these fractions, we need a common denominator. Now 5 isn't a multiple of 4, so that means we need to find 2 equivalent fractions. 20 is in both the 4 and the 5 times table. So because 20 is a common multiple, we can find fractions equivalent to 3 quarters and 3 fifths, which have a denominator of 20. Now 4 times 5 is 20, and what we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator as well, and 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20, and 3 times 4 is 12. So now we can rewrite our question. Instead of 3 quarters, we can write 15 twentieths, and instead of subtracting 3 fifths, we can subtract 12 twentieths. Now we have a common denominator, so that stays the same in our answer, and 15 minus 12 is 3, so our answer is 3 twentieths. Now, 1 half minus what equals 1 fifth? So here, it's the second number in the subtraction, or the subtrahend that's missing. So, we still use subtraction to find our missing number. We need to work out 1 half minus 1 fifth, and that will give us our missing number. But, to subtract fractions, again, the denominators need to be the same. The lowest common multiple of 2 and 5 is 10, so we can find equivalent fractions to 1 half and 1 fifth, which both have a denominator of 10. 2 times 5 is 10, and 1 times 5 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10, and 1 times 2 is 2. So, instead of 1 half, we can rewrite our question with 5 tenths, and instead of subtracting 1 fifth, we can subtract 2 tenths, because that's equivalent to 1 fifth. So now we have a common denominator, so that stays the same in our answer, and 5 minus 2 is 3, so our missing number is 3 tenths. And let's show fraction bars so we can see how this works. For this first question, we started with 3 fifths, and we knew that something had been added to make 3 quarters. Now 3 fifths is the same as 12 twentieths, and 3 quarters is the same as 15 twentieths. So we can see what's been added in yellow here, and that's 3 twentieths. So 3 fifths or 12 twentieths plus 3 twentieths equals 3 quarters. Now, for this question, we started with a half, and we knew that something had been subtracted to make 1 fifth. If we change both of these into tenths, we can see it's these three tenths here that must have been subtracted, so that's our missing number. Now, something minus two fifths equals one third. So this time, it's the first number or the minuend in our subtraction that's missing. And remember, subtraction problems can be read backwards as addition problems. So, to find our missing number, we can work out one third plus two fifths. To subtract fractions, we need the denominators to be the same, and the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15, so we can change 1 third and 2 fifths into fractions with a denominator of 15. 3 times 5 is 15, 1 times 5 is 5, 5 times 3 is 15, 2 times 3 is 6. So now we can rewrite our question. Instead of 1 third, we can write 5 fifteenths, and instead of adding 2 fifths, we can add 6 fifteenths, because that's the same or equivalent to 2 fifths. 
So now the denominator stays the same and 5 plus 6 is 11. So our missing number is 11 fifteenths. And let's show fraction bars to see what we did. We knew that 2 fifths had been subtracted to leave 1 third. But we changed 2 fifths into 6 fifteenths and 1 third into 5 fifteenths and because this had been subtracted we knew that we must have started with 11 fifteenths altogether because then subtracting the 2 fifths or 6 fifteenths would leave us with 1 third or 5 fifteenths.